It is so windy out here. I can't hear myself think. Postman Mike Simmons is going handheld. We are fired up. Bet you didn't know. Brockton, in the country, has the second highest wind speed velocity in all the land. That's insane. What are we doing out here? I don't know. <laughs> But we're going inside to the Center for Workforce Development for their third annual snowball networking event. Follow me as we enter a world of workforce development that is one of a kind. This has to be the coldest day in the last, I'd say, nine months. But we do it all for you. And we're doing it all for Baywib. We're going to meet some of these community leaders. I'm all fired up. Yeah. Oh yeah, we made it inside. Postman took a minute to warm up. He actually put his coat and his gloves on for this event. So we're heading downstairs. This is 34 School Street, the Center for Workforce Development, right across the street from City Hall. This networking event should be a blast. We're going down into the basement where the Youth Works Center is. We're gonna have some fun, yeah. So what we're going to do today is we're just going to randomly put the microphone in the faces of everybody and see what they have to say for themselves. These networking events uh, are pretty cool. Uh, they're fun to cover. Uh, they're even better to participate in, so we're going to do a little bit of both. And I'm going to like it. My name is Sheila Sullivan Jardim and I'm the executive director here at Baywood. We are one of 16 workforce investment boards throughout the state, but I kind of think that we're a little unique. And something that makes us unique is the staff and the team that I have that provide services and programs to the residents of the Brockton area. So we service about 390 residents and we also service quite a few different businesses in the area. We try and focus on sectors that um, are showing growth not only in the occupations, but also provide a decent wage for residents of our community to continue to build their career paths and, and a successful financial life. So the three main industries that we're working on right now are manufacturing, healthcare, and information technology. I do have a director of regional training, Lorraine Albert, and Lorraine has been great putting together a variety of trainings for both incumbent workforce and also for our pipeline workforce. The great Lorraine Albert. Lorraine, what is happening today in the YouthWorks uh, part of this Center for Workforce Development. There are so many things going on here. I actually should really have you speak to somebody who actually works down here at YouthWorks, but in a few minutes you're going to have the BayWib um, board members coming down and bringing guests and other guests from the community are coming and we're having the annual snowball event today. And that's an event where we encourage people to come in and basically snowball our um, connections in our outreach and try to get more people in the community involved. You've done a lot in Brockton. Tell us, uh, tell us your history in five seconds or less. Five seconds or less. So I used to work for an organization called My Turn that many people in the Brockton community were part of. It was an awesome organization. And then I was working for a couple of other youth organizations in the Boston and Cambridge area and I was so happy to come back a couple of years ago working for the WIB and uh, focusing a lot of my efforts on the adult side of the house, I guess I would describe it as, but working on manufacturing, um, working with a lot of the different manufacturers in this area and trying to find out what they need and um, you know what keeps them up at night and how we can help them um, attract good talent and to try to get people into jobs um, in that industry. And then we do a lot of research on other industries, including healthcare. So we have a lot of healthcare trainings that have been going on here. Um, and most recently, we've had a CDL driver training program that's been excellent. We actually started a new class in January, and we're oh, looking yeah. to train about 24 people to go through that in CDLA or CDLB, again, to meet the needs of the employers in the area. So it's been an exciting year here. Yeah, and the building. I mean, you've been in, you've been in Brockton for a long time, as you said earlier. Uh, this building has really transformed. What a, what a heck of a yeah, job. Yeah, Sheila and the board um, have done a phenomenal job. Um, you know, by purchasing the building, certainly it's added a lot of um, a lot of energy to the area. Um, and again, just having these different rooms, these training labs, has been a huge piece of this building transformation. I mean, you can walk around. Certainly, the youth the youth area is phenomenal. We have an incubator area. You guys will be going in there in a couple of minutes. But I mean, it's just 
it makes people feel good when they come in and you know we want to do that we work hand in hand with our career center with our one-stop career center and all the other um, partners that we have in this building um, but again we just want to make sure that you know we can get our employers um, the right uh, qualified trained people and we want to make sure that people get back to work so you know luckily the unemployment rate is very low lowest it's been I think um, in a century they said today it's down to 2.9 in Massachusetts that rate just came really? out today. Yeah, that rate just came out today. So, you know, but again, there are lots of people who still aren't working. So, um, you know, those are the people that we want to make sure we can get everybody into the right career pathway. And it's all about following a path and building up, building upon the skills that you have, developing new skills, and um, you know, developing a pathway for yourself. Some people like to go on camera. Others, not so much. And then we have Nicolene Batista who is made for the camera, who is made for Brockton Community Access. Nicolene, surprise, surprise, surprise. It's Brockton Community Access in the house. What's going on? Kind of busy trying to do last minute stuff for the snowball event. Hi, everybody. <laughs> Now, there's no snow on the ground. Are you still having the event? Yes. If you go in the room, there's a whole bunch of snowflakes everywhere. And so the room is snowy-ish. Excellent. And what do we have here? We have mystery guests. Yes. Ooh, it sounds like it, it sounds like it looks like there's a lot of fun planned for today. Yes, there is. There is. Have you seen Ray Yancey? Okay. I have. I think he just came down. Oh, wait a minute. I think you're right. It's pretty cold outside, isn't it? No. No, not at all. <laughs> all right, show us your tie. Talk about the tie. Uh, well, it's my tie? Uh, it's a yeah. Santa Claus tie. He's riding a motorcycle, so he's up to date. Oh, man, he looks like he's yeah. a hipster. Yeah, well, you know, he hangs out with me. So what's happening, though? All the presents are flying out of the, out of the back of the motorcycle. What's happening? It has no cover on it. <laughs> so, yeah, Santa can't do it all, can he? Well, no, he has to leave some on the side of the road, you know. So, you so know. tell us about the event today. What, what, well, what are we in store for? Well, we're in store for, to meet a lot of people, a lot of members of our board are going to be here. We have businesses that are coming in, and they're going to network, and we get to know them. They get to know us. And hopefully uh, the relationships build. It's all for helping the kids. So we get businesses, they get involved, they can come in and it'll help the kids when we do our job programs that hopefully they'll uh, be willing to take some of the kids. Now you were talking about programs. Uh, give us a, a down and dirty on what you do. Oh, what I do right now is absolutely nothing. No, no, no. Just, Ray, things yeah. haven't changed, yeah, have no, they? No, they no. really haven't. <laughs> no, right now I'm, I'm actually a training associate. Uh, I actually work, I, I was working for YouthWorks, and now I got promoted up to Bay Whip. So I'm a training associate with uh, Lorraine, who you just spoke to. And we'll be working with businesses to come in to help them do their trainings and set up, uh, you know, hiring practices and so forth with them. So a lot of things kind of slow right now, but things are going to pick up after the first of the year. Yeah, and you've been working with kids for how many years now? Oh, I don't know. It's probably been close to 10 years, you know, from the time I started with DYS until now. So, you know, so it's been a while I've been working with them. So it's been rewarding. I, I just recently spoke with a couple of kids that I worked with back eight, nine years ago with DYS, and they are doing well, and they happened to see me on Facebook of all places, so they contacted me and gave me their whole life story since we were connected with them. And it's very rewarding, well. isn't it? It is. You know, when you see the ones that really make it, you know, it makes you feel good. That I hope I was part of that, you, you know what I mean, that I helped whatever I said to them, turned them around and got their life back in shape, so yeah. it's a good feeling. Yeah, success is, uh, working with kids, success can be a relative term, can't oh, it? Yeah, most certainly, yeah. most certainly. Yeah. You know, sometimes you want to pull, I was going to say pull my hair out, but I, <laughs> I guess I already did that. <laughs> <laughs> now, when's the last, how long have you been bald? Uh, let me see, I cut, I cut it all off probably six, seven years ago. Oh, really? Yeah. Okay, all right, yeah, I'm going on 20, I think I hit the 20 mark. Right? No, it hasn't yeah. been that long for me. You know, is there hair? No, oh, there is hair. Yeah. You just look good. Bald. I just got a pretty hol pretty good holiday in the back, but you know, in my <laughs> in my younger days, believe it or not, it used to be down to my shoulders. Oh, really? Yeah. Wow, that's yeah. sweet. Yeah. Back in the day, I was one of the first uh, California oh. curls, as they called it. <laughs> <laughs> the California yeah. curls, right? <laughs> I was one of the first, but you know, uh, maybe the chemicals did some of it. I don't know. <laughs> 
Well, we're gonna go. Uh, we're gonna go uh, harass uh, uh, David Benson. What do you uh, think? Oh, uh, I don't. He's not here. He's. Uh, oh yeah, oh, he just walked in. Oh yeah, definitely go harass him. All right, let's go. Right. Thanks, Ray right. Nancy people. Thank you. Get to know him. Uh, he's doing a great job with the Wib. Many roles. Many roles in the community over a number of years. He's uh, he's a great guy, and uh, he's located up on the uh, the top floor of this fine facility. As I knock and enter. Oh, look, it's styling and profiling. Yeah, it's David good. Vincent. David, yeah. what's going on, babe? Not much, man. You know, same old thing. Jobs, jobs, jobs. That's right. Um, and we just heard a few minutes ago, and this hasn't been confirmed, but the unemployment rate in the state is the lowest it's been in 100 years? Yes, yes. Um, we actually uh, got that report from some of the members on our workforce partnership board, and um, that's good to know. The Workforce Partnership Board, tell us about that. Yeah, so basically um, the uh, WIO, they mandated us, WIO Workforce Investment Opportunity Act, they mandated some of the partners, uh, the Career Center, the WIB, uh, DTA, uh, unemployment, to gather together and strategize on how we could better serve our population. So yeah, we basically get together each month and to just talk about different ways and opportunities to uh, streamline our services amongst all of our clients. Yeah, and though you're, you know, you're a regional board, uh, you we're talking about statewide. You obviously had a positive impact to get that unemployment rate down. Right, right. I mean, yeah. I mean, we deal with uh, the population of 16 to 24, and we see a lot of young people coming in. Um, we help them apply for jobs. Not too long ago, a couple kids had interviews at UPS, got hired. Um, Vicente's. Different places around the city, we're seeing a lot of young people, especially, getting jobs and um, entering the workforce. So it's good to see. So it's not only the adult population, but we see it affected in uh, with the youth, the young people. Yeah, and they get that background. They get that work under their belt that helps out with the resume and things like that, too. Right, right. And, I mean, they're entering the workforce for the first time, so just starting out. And, you know, we just like to see them excel and watch their skills uh, grow as they, um, you know, enter the workforce. Yeah. And you've been with the WIP for several years now. Uh, to, to watch it grow and be where you are right now, uh, not only the building, you know, the foundation, but uh, just the, the great programs that you're offering. It must be impressive. I mean, you must be fired up to be part of this. Right, right. I, I'm very much so fired up. I mean, I've been here for seven years. Um, I was upstairs, and I, I didn't even have a cubicle. I had a small little desk. Uh, it was Rachel, Christelle, Sheila, and myself, and other staff members. And just seeing uh, the evolution of where BayWib was and where we are today, it really, I'm really invested, and I'm glad that we're actually covering a lot of bases around around the city and not only the city, the region, and uh, just connecting with different employers and training uh, partners and just making, uh, making sure that we impact the workforce as much as possible, yeah. Hi there. Hi. What's going on? Now, yeah, well, you look familiar because recently we did an event over at Brockton High School. Yes. Uh, I believe it's the uh, YCC mentoring program, yes. and we saw you as a big part of it. Tell us your name and what's going on. My name is Marie, and what's going on is right now we're going to have a networking event. So pretty excited about that, to get everybody in the room and come see what BayWeb's all about. What do you do here, Marie? I am a youth associate, so I help out with the youth as well. I do the programs, I do a TRA program where I help kids find um, schools, get, into, um, get their high set. Mm -hmm. Have you ever heard of that one? Yes. Train Resources of America. TRA, and, yeah. Yes, and I also do summer jobs, and I also do a year-round program. What do you like best about working with kids? Uh, helping them find jobs, be successful. Help them figure out their lives. Yeah. I like that the most. Well, that's fun. I was a youth. And I wanted to be able someone to help me too. I grew up in youth programs in Cambridge. So I'm definitely oh, you did? Okay. Yeah. So I'm definitely fascinated to want to do the same thing here in Brockton to be an outreach for someone else. Another fine, fine member at the Center for Workforce Development. That was Marie. Marie, we'll see you soon. All right, we'll move it along. Right now, Barbara Duffy is talking with Lorraine Albert. They used to be colleagues years ago over at My Turn. Barbara Duffy now works for Bamsey. Lorraine Albert was one of her, I guess, I guess her right-hand woman, if you will. And uh, Barbara does some great work. And we're just going to go right up, and we're going to start talking to her. Yeah, I agree. I agree, Barbara. Yes. We borrowed, uh, we borrowed, we borrowed and bothered Lorraine earlier, and we're going to do the same with you real quick. Okay. What are you doing here today? 
I am on, I'm a new board member on the Brockton Area Workforce Investment Board. Congratulations. Thank you very much. So today was my first full board meeting, and I'm here at the Snowball event, which is a kind of a meet and greet with Baywood staff and other board members. So did you bring the snowballs? I have no snowballs, but it's cold enough to make them outside for sure. You didn't bring the snowballs. Good talking with you, Barbara. All right, we're moving on now. <laughs> One thing that we've noticed over the years at Brockton Community Access is we noticed that the camera is either a magnet or a repellent. <laughs> so it is a magnet because when Cristal's on camera, because she is a beauty, she is a wonder, and she knows her stuff. Cristal, are you fired up for the snowball event today? Snowball networking event. Third annual, if you didn't know. Third annual, yes. I am totally fired up, and I love having people come to our site and visit and network and just make, you know, friends and partnerships through these meetings. Yes. How long have you been doing this, Cristal? I've been here for seven years. And then prior to that... I was... Well, didn't you go to a program that we've mentioned a couple of times already? My turn. Yes, I am an, I am an alumni of my turn. There's, there's, some impressive, there's an impressive group of people that came from that My Turn program. Paula that was just standing next to me, she's also an alumni from My Turn. No kidding. All right. All right. And we had Barbara Duffy, the, the former director over there, and Lorraine, who now works here. It's, it's incredible. And Nicolene, who also works here. That's My right. Turn. Nicolene, we bothered her, too. Uh, so... You've been with the WIB for a number of years now. Tell, tell us about your evolution within the WIB and the organization's evolution. So I actually started with the WIB um, upstairs um, before we even, you know, got to this point where we purchased the building and have been doing one of wonderful things in the community. Um, I was a youth associate. Um, within a couple of years, I actually transitioned to um, the director's position and have staff, had a number of staff under me, and we just began to run programs out of the site, um, you know, working with young people, doing summer jobs programs, doing internships programs, Etc. Um, from when I began, I think the relationship that Baywood had in the community um, and the, the branding that it had in the community was really, you know, small, sometimes had a negative connotation. Now we're in a different place. We are um, positively looked at and we've developed a number of partners and we're doing some great trainings, um, employment based um, programs, and education based programs. Outstanding, outstanding. We were talking to Maria earlier. She was more direct service. Tell us, I don't think viewers understand the amount of work it takes to manage a grant um, and go to day to day. And how much time do you take on any given grant per week? How much time are you invested in making sure that the reporting's correct and everything that goes along with it? Um, almost. All 30, oh, 35 hours of my work week is towards managing grants, managing staff, making sure um, the budget's being spent, making sure we are um, meeting our goals and meeting our numbers and, you know, allocations are aligning to the, you know, right staff members, et cetera. I mean, almost all of my time goes towards that. Yeah, and, and the state wants to know what's going on. And it, it, the, it's an era of transparency. This probably goes back to 2000. 2007, 2008, the game changed a little bit, the economy crashed, and money was tougher to get, and the reporting increased. It sure did. It increased, and I mean, we have to do a report for every grant that we actually um, manage here at Baywood. And for myself, I'm, I actually manage about seven different programs alone um, under the youth division. Cristal Love, another great asset, not only to the greater Brockton community, but when you dig down a little deeper to the web, YouthWorks program, check it out. And we're going to keep moving. Thank you, Cristal. Thank you. It was great talking with you guys. All right, we're moving on. We're moving around. Hey, Jay. Hey, it's Jason. <laughs> what are you doing here? Uh, enjoying our uh, third annual snowball event. Where are the snowballs? I, I've asked many people here. This Jim, you have to, don't go anywhere now. Oh. There's a plenty of them hanging in that other room. Okay, but they're not them. real. I can see them. No, they're not real. No, we couldn't import them. It's not cold enough yet. We called Santa, but he Did wasn't available for this days, meeting. Jim? Oh, wait not a minute. Now, we have our, what, what, Jim, what's your official title? Veteran Employment Representative. 
And what's your unofficial title? James. <laughs> James. Okay. All right. Veterans guru. Don't I know. How, how far back do we go, uh, do we go guys? Oh, I know oh, what. Oh, ten or fifteen years at, at least. least. Yeah. Ten, fifteen. Yeah. yeah. I would say. Yeah. yeah. Now, uh, oh, oh, go ahead. Day pick was a Day time. pick. Yeah, Brock and Erie uh, Private Industry Council. That was 10, 12 years ago, and yeah. your old organization was, what, eight years ago? Uh, Boys and Girls Club. Yes. Eight yeah, I almost ago. forgot. <laughs> 2004, <laughs> to be exact, and the Fab Four are a big one for you. The oh, Fabulous no. Four. I didn't realize it was 2000. The Fab Four? At the Boys and Girls Club. The Fab Four? Who was part of the Fab Four? Those were uh, some of our... <laughs> members at the Bay Pick? Yeah. And oh, the Fab Four. Four. Right, 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 right. Yeah, give me another couple of weeks. I won't remember my name, <laughs> so don't worry about it. So we have a bunch of CEOs in here and a bunch of community leaders in here just mangling, and you're getting to know them a little bit. Is that what's going down? Yes, this is a networking event designed to bring together employers, community partners, and get to know what the WIB does and what the Career Center does and how this uh, workforce development system works. And then tell us a little bit about veterans, uh, the veterans services that you provide, Jim. Uh, employment and training services, Jay. It's, it's a lot to do with uh, veterans that are in need of maybe having a resume prepped up or interviewing skills brushed up on uh, and referrals to employers in the area that network with the Career Center and the, uh, the WIB. And uh, what are you going to go for first? Are you going to go for the fruit or the veggies? I was thinking the same thing. I'm going to go for the wings, so neither are your choices. There are wings in there? There's wings in there. That's why, that's why I've been staring over there. Okay, yeah, good talking <laughs> with you guys. All right. All right, so we're moving on. So let's go around. Let's meet some of the players. Grab some grub. Have a good time. I go by last A large, um, a large kudos does go to Nicolleen for doing all the, the background work. And <laughs> so hi everybody, as Sheila mentioned, my name is Nicolleen Batista, I'm the Connecting Activities Coordinator here at BayWib in the Youth Works Department. And um, a big thank you to my committee team, including Sheila, David Edwards, Ellen, um, Ray, and Keith. Thank you guys, wherever you guys are. <laughs> um, all right, so we're going to do um, introductions. So what it is is I'm going to have you guys, I'm going to have a person, well, you guys are all standing. So I'm going to have each person um, tell the group his or her name, the company that you are working for, and using only five words to describe or pitch your service. Sheila Sullivan Jardim. Uh, of course, I need my fingers to count my words here. Um, leader of a great staff. Uh, my name is Eric Bernal. I teach at uh, Brockton High School, Puree Design, and uh, let's see, uh, <clears throat> inspiring tomorrow's engineers. I guess that was three words. <laughs> Effectively, today. Today. <laughs> Student trying to make it. <laughs> uh, Ariana Freeman, I am a youth service associate. Um, encouraging youth to strive for excellence. That was six. Oh, so I started again. <laughs> um, encouraging youth, encouraging youth every single day. Yeah, there you go. Hi, I'm Marie Bernardo, yeah. and I would say helping youth complete higher education. Hi, my name is David Vincent. Um, assisting youth with employment every day. I'm Sam Holt, I work for BayWib. Uh, I help balance the books. <laughs> All right. uh, my name is Enrique Diaz, or Rick as a lot of people know me, or my family, Little Ricky. All right. I work for Buffalo Wild Wings. 
and providing the ultimate guest experience. Yeah. I am James Schmidt. I work for the Department of Career Services, and I assist veterans with obtaining employment. Good day. I'm Scotty Boyle. I work with Mass Commission for the Blind as a vocational rehab counselor supervisor, and I'm awful at this stuff, but I would say <laughs> empowering youth with disabilities beyond barriers. That's why. Thank you. Hi, I'm Solange with the Brockton Public Schools. I love helping kids. Paula <laughs> <laughs> Fonz, I'm the navigator at Maxwell Community College. I help students navigate community college. <laughs> um, Alicia Owls, I'm a vocational rehab counselor at Mass Commission for the Blind. And I guess helping clients accomplish their goals. Darren Duart in the mayor's office, making a difference in people's lives every day. Christopher Mills, the veteran business service representative. I um, work with work with the businesses to get them hire veterans. I'm Pat Sharamal. I'm the executive director of the Old Colony Planning Council, and I help the communities with opportunities and grants. Uh, Keith Hartnett, I'm the media and technology specialist here at Baywhip. I do lots of things. Lots of stuff. Stanley Hurwitz, uh, marketing and public relations genius. Lorraine <laughs> right, Albert, director of regional training at Baywhip. Um, training for employers, or training for businesses and individuals. I'm Brian McElhinney from Team Teamsters Local 653. And we organize and educate American workers and try to uplift them into higher wage jobs. Uh, John Carlson, uh, executive, director, <clears throat> executive Director of Self Help. We serve those that live in poverty and we help people become self sufficient. I'm Tiana Saunders with MBA Mortgage. We help um, potential homeowners achieve home ownership. <clears throat> I'm James Young, also with MBA Mortgage. And uh, with us, it's not just loans, but relationships. My name is Stephanie Weaver. I work for YouthWorks, and I work with employers and youth. Hi, I'm Lynn Famularo. I work with BayWeb, and I'm the administrative assistant. And if you need help, call me. <laughs> <laughs> um, Nick Giaquinto. I'm the uh, deputy chief of staff for the mayor, um, and I uh, coordinate uh, daily operations of the office. Uh, Jason Hunter, Associate Director at Baywib, uh, cutting up fruit for my daughter. <laughs> <laughs> She's not going to participate. She can't speak yet. <laughs> I'm John Murray. I'm the Director at CareerWorks. Um, we match workers with companies. Hi, Bruno Nocelia. I teach electronics at Brockton High School, and I'm a shepherd for the future flock. I'm Christelle Love, the Director of Youth Services here, and I help my staff help youth. Right. You got my good side? <laughs> Is there any other? Uh, my name is Rachel Cherry Adams. I am the office and facilities manager here at Baywib, keeping the building up to par. Right. <laughs> I'm Michelle Hearn, and I am the accounting and finance manager at Baywib, and I am enjoying my first snowball event. Yeah. Mary Waldron, Bridgewater State University. Opportunities in higher education, always. Suzanne Fernandes from Mutual Bank and the chair of BayWeb. I help businesses with their financial needs. Hi, I'm Joe Mitchell. I'm with Bridgewater Savings Bank, and um, we uh, help customers' financial goals. I'm Mike, uh, director of programming, um, Brockton Community Access. Uh, five words. Oh, man. I uh, make great TV for everyone. Yeah. 
All right, let's try it. Not in Ireland. Oh. <laughs> if you think about a snowball, it starts off with just a few little flakes, and you get a bunch of us together, and we actually can uh, really pull together and do something big. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.